so today we are going to do the form validation inside our form and we will be using two libraries here one is formic and another is yup library i will explain it to you in detail so do not worry first of all we are going to install these two libraries inside our code so we will use the command npm install or i formic so this is how we are going to install and this is going to take a little bit of time so do not worry about that and similarly we are going to install the yup library also npm i yup so let us go ahead and install that also npm i yup now after installing this we are going to use both of these libraries for the form validation for so for using uh, the formic what we are going to do is we are going to clear all our code inside app.js and then i am going to explain the code step by step you can look at the official documentation of the formic as you can see here you can see i have form level validation so we are going to use this uh, for our video in today first we are going to import react from react and we are going to import formic form and field from formic then we are going to import yup library and later on we are going to uh, add this in our app.js so we are totally going to modify our app.js i will explain it to you so we are making a sign up uh, schema named constant and it has uh, our phone number as a string and here we are mentioning three things first thing that it is a required field that is without that uh, you will not be able to log in into our website and second it should have a maximum of 10 and uh, we will get two messages if it is too short then uh, we will display too short if it is too long we will get too long message this you can uh, customize according to your needs like in email or anything else next we are going to uh, write our validation so we have created another uh, constant named validation schema example and inside that so there is no app component we have just written some code inside our app component it is uh, it is it is simple code so i have given it a class name of uh, app as we have done uh, earlier also and i have also wrapped it inside a login form and okay so now we are going to open our formic tag and inside that we are giving the initial value of phone number to an empty string so uh, whenever you open the website you will see an empty string inside that that is the initial value and then we are going to use our sign up schema on submit we want to alert the values that we will get uh, an alert box inside whatever input we have uh, inserted that we are going to see in the alert box also we have added two uh, functions one is error and another is touched so this is the thing which we use from yup library then we have created a form and the field name is again phone number and we are going to display error message and also if it is touched so this is the two things that we are going to use errors dot phone number and touch dot phone number if this is uh, valid then we are going to uh, uh, print nothing else if this is not true we are going to print the error that we are having an error at the end we are going to have a button which is of the type submit and then we are going to close all this now we are going to save this code and if i remove uh, the app.css file from here then you will see a simple white login page as you can see so this is and let me change the submit to login so we do not have any css right now 
now i am going to import my app.css and add some uh, styling we will not do a lot of styling in this we are just going to use uh, the styling which you have done in the last login.css we are just going to modify that code so i've copied all my code now what i'm going to do is so we need a margin of zero padding of zero and let me just go over the styling first of all so that we can get the same output as we have got uh, yesterday using our normal html and css so you can see i have two div tags one is app and another is login form we will be targeting both uh, because uh, we will be not getting the exact output if we use only one so for the app i have added uh, the background image url and everything is same that we have used yesterday in the login form thing and uh, this is exactly the same we want everything to be same the width the height margin everything for the login form that is we are going to target the formic so for targeting formic we will go inside login form and then we will target the formic so we are giving it a width of 300 pixels and margin and padding next we are going to target our h1 and we do not have we do have an input obviously so we are going to target that also so that is the input next we are going to target our button so for targeting the button we see that uh, the button is present inside uh, the div tag with class name login form and then inside the form we have that button so we will be targeting it like this if we do not uh, target the form that is let me remove this form from here so you will see there is no styling applied in the button we have not used any other input field in our project because we will be using only phone number for uh, the verification and you will just get an otp and you are going to get the uh, login from there so we do not require password or anything else so we will keep it simple and you can see that we are getting required there as soon as we hit on save so now if i enter uh, 10 digits then i will get the option to log in we will get no uh, messages in uh, the bottom and you can see i get the alert box with whatever input i have uh, inserted but if i uh, remove a digit then you will see i'm getting the message too short and if i increase the number that is the digits are more than 10 i'm getting too long and if i remove all this then you see i am getting the message required so this is what we wanted and this is how we use formic and form validation formic is designed to manage forms with complex validation with ease it supports synchronous and asynchronous form level and field level validation so uh, this is baked in code and you just have to uh, verify it a little bit and then you can use formic in your project to maintain your code and keep a check on your code you can use a version control system that is git and github wait let me just add in uh, an h5 that we've forgotten that is the phone number okay so that is fine you can style it all we will be looking forward to using a version control system in later in our videos so stay tuned thank you